Hi everyone, comic reviewer here. This time reviewing on the film 8mm. Now, as you know, 8mm is a neo noir filler film that was directed by Joe Schumacher and written by Andrew Kevin Walker. Now, now, pretty much I wanted to kind of give this film a go and review it after watching Ryan Hollinger's review on 8mm, who also does reviews on some horror stuff. So, 8mm, I would say, is definitely a film that deserves a lot better. So, the premise of the film is meant to follow private investigator Tom Wells, who is contacted by the attorney of a wealthy w widow, Miss Christian. And we see how he learns from an 8mm movie, which turns out had the depiction of a murder of a young girl. And we see how Tom goes into an investigation to find out who this girl was and see if the film was actually real. And throughout the movie, we see how Tom ends up going into another world that he wasn't going to be ready for. And we kind of see how he gets help from a shady guy known as Max California, played by Jacqueline Phoenix. And I would say Max California isn't really a bad guy, he's just someone who gets roped into the wrong world. And I think over the course of the film, we do see how Tom slowly loses his way, finding himself in a world where, with bad people, and seizing, and kind of seeing the sort of more shadier world. Because I think when you kind of got Dino Vellet as well as Eddie Paul, I think they're two people who are just the worst and don't show any concern or care for the people they hurt in their films. And I think when you've got the kind of masked person known as Machine, I think he definitely works as a character because when you find out why he's the way he is, it, it is quite a realistic thing because people do things for no real reason and show no concern or care for their actions. And we kind of see how Tom is roped into this other world, and you can kind of tell he's shocked and appalled of what he's seen. And I think when you kind of see just what Mr. Christian was like, you can tell Tom is shocked, appalled, and even disgusted at what he's seen. And even though he has stopped, that, stopped it in the end, there is still going to be bad people out there who do terrible things. And I think it's like the message that stopping one thing can might seem good, but nature appalls the vacuum. And I think over the course of the film, we do see how Tom still worries about his young daughter's safety as well as his wife. We also do see him knowing that these sort of things might happen one day, and does sort of accept what's going to happen. And I think as well what the film gets right at is Nicholas Cage really does play this character who starts off wanting to do the right things, but once he gets roped into this underground shitty world, it's something that he wasn't prepared for. And I would say the movie isn't really too bad, because... I think what Joe Schumacher got right at by changing Andrew's storyline into a bit more light of a lighter tone, but still keeping the same dark adult themes. And I think because of Batman and Robin, I think people were a bit more hesitant on 8mm, but I think to me, it's still a good film. So I think it still deserves a thumbs in the mill. It's kind of alright, kind of okay, but it's still a good movie. So, comic book reviewer here, signing out.